Today, we'll be revisiting our mushroom leather. I don't think the shiitake sheet from first turned out very well. Instead, can we extract this mycelium puck to make this a more suitable mushroom leather? And furthermore, can we use this liquid culture and see if we can form a very nice large mycelium sheet that we can treat the same way? Let's figure it out. We have three different oysters, blue oyster, pink oyster, and pearl oyster with these nice pucks on top. The lid and the body are both PB5, so I went ahead and pressure cooked that. I'm gonna carefully loosen that lid. I think I'm just going to pour it straight out of here since we're on the front of the flow hood. Let me uh, show you real quick. There's just barely enough to cover the bottom. But now we can uh, seal this container and uh, set it somewhere as even as I can. I did want to go ahead and fish out the mycelium mats for them. We'll go ahead and start with this blue oyster since I already have it opened. Kind of exactly what I want. So it was very gelatinous on the bottom. I don't really think we're gonna need that. Could just scrape this all off. It's a pretty nice puck of mycelium. It, it definitely, uh, very fluffy. Kind of reminds me of like a kombucha. Let's go ahead and check out this pearl oyster. It smells very earthy, very mycelial in there. And this pink oyster. You know, really nice that it started to fruit in the water underneath. Now let's uh, go figure a way to uh, press these out and then uh, dehydrate them. Let's uh, go ahead and start with this guy. You can see it's a very like spongy texture. I think we can just uh, press that out. This is the blue oyster. Now let's do the uh, pearl oyster. I, I think these are gonna turn out pretty good. <laughs> and this uh, pink oyster may be too fragile. I'll still uh, dry it out though and see how it turns. All right, I only put them in the oven a little bit just to dry up. I'm gonna put them in the uh, in the toaster oven, actually. I think that the oven was too hot last time, too. These have also started to dry for a little bit. I almost think that we may need to pre-treat them. It's starting to get a little bit crispy. I turned on the temperature down to like 100 degrees Fahrenheit. But yeah, I think uh, these have a pretty good chance of success. As you can see, the pearl oyster, which was thinner, dried out, rehydrated a lot quicker. So we can go ahead and pull that out, set it aside. This blue oyster, though, is still a little bit crispy. So we're gonna soak it for a little bit longer. Now that they both rehydrated pretty well, let's go ahead and blot them dry. I'm gonna rub this MCT oil in on both sides and we'll rub olive oil on both sides for this one. And we're gonna seal them up in a closed container for about the next 24 hours. We'll check back how they've held up after a little bit. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about the experimentation. I think that the PP5 container with a little bit of liquid culture should hopefully work really well and should be a nice way to grow these sheets. And if you have any alternative methods for treating these or any ideas, please let me know as well. Thank you very much for joining us though, and we'll see you in the next one.